Hello, I'm Stanley Lucien. Welcome to the HSE poll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. Violent incidents have erupted in Kakujiwa and Talvan communities of Babano. The recent upsurge in violence coincides with the arrest of a man from the community for the shooting death of minibus driver Casey Jason Montoot. There are regular reports of serious violent acts, some of which have resulted in deaths. This has prompted calls for the area to receive increased police attention, with the suggestion by some for the affected community to be declared an area of escalated crime, which would strengthen the hands of law enforcers to address the situation. So we ask, should the Kako and Talvin communities of Babano be declared an escalated crime area? We took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Yes, I feel I think so. Yeah. yeah very hot. Because right now they come like you for it. I as an individual cannot say whether it is it, it, it should be designated as a escalated crime area. So it's all left to the authorities and the responsible um, a minister of the minister of the area to actually make that decision. So I am thinking if the people is suffering, if the people needs to um, be protected, it is all left to the to the to the parliamentary representative and the prime minister and the police to get together. In fact, in other words, the stakeholders to get together to determine whether it is an escalated crime area. Nowadays, even more corrupt. In, in young people, that's why they're killing one another like this, and that should be happen. No, no, con no part of St. Lucia. The crime is happening all over the place. We need safer penalties in this country right now. A lot of things that need getting away with the law. The system needs to be fixed, it's number one. And I think the, the country needs a stiffer penalty for criminals that are doing the, the, the act. And the government has us playing politics with crime. Crime is a serious issue. Innocent people sometimes can be passing and getting hurt, injured. That's all I have to say. Thanks for those responses. And now to our new discussion. The opposition, United Workers' Party, will present some of its candidates for the next general elections, due in just under two years. The United Workers' Party lost nine of its 11 seats it held during the 2016 to 2021 term in office. The candidates will be presented at Sunday's meeting on the William Peter Boulevard in Castries. So we ask, do you look forward to the United Workers' Party's list of candidates for the next general elections? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsandlucia.org and vote. Remember, our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and the new discussion.